You ready? Well, y'all, thank you for coming out to our beautiful historic state house. <clears throat> this this bill that we're signing today represents another recognition of the needs of the people of our state. We try to be on the, the cutting edge of everything to be ahead, to be innovative, but uh, taking care of children and taking care of the mothers who are taking care of the children is something that is always at the top of our list, whether it's uh, health or education or anything else. So this bill today is a, is a delightful recognition of, of what we're doing in South Carolina. This is the best place in the world to live, work, and raise a family, and this is certainly a part of raising a family. Lieutenant Governor. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm so pleased to be here today. What a day it is for women. The 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment and the signing of this bill. Uh, 32 states, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, have laws related to the pumping of breast milk in the workplace. With the South Carolina Lactation Support Act, South Carolina is now one of a handful of states with the strongest protections in place for nursing mothers. As a mother and a businesswoman myself, I can tell you from experience how difficult it is balancing uh, being a working mother and having to take care of our children. I'm thrilled that South Carolina is now leading the way with this new legislation, and I would like to thank all the sponsors uh, who made this possible and our governor for his support of this bill. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Representative Rosalind Henderson Myers Spartanburg County House District 31. I am proud to sponsor the South Carolina Lactation Support Act. This was legislation that I pre-filed all the way back in 2018. The journey to the governor's desk to be signed into law was long, but I'm so thankful to you all for having my back every step of the way. Bottom line, getting this bill signed into law is a big, big win for South Carolina and for women in South Carolina. In this legislation, we aim to support working mothers by requiring employers to provide reasonable space and break time to workers to express breast milk. We did just that. This is a common sense solution to a problem that women have experienced in the workplace. By asking employers to make reasonable accommodations we can level the playing field for working mothers. The bill also prohibits employers from discriminating against employees for choosing to express breast milk in the workplace. Now, the General Assembly passed the South Carolina Pregnancy Accommodation Act a few years ago, thanks to the hard work of Wren and other advocates. In the same way, we can make our workplaces better for pregnant women. We can do the same for women who are breastfeeding their children. It is important that all women in the workplace receive the full protection of the law. Here, we saw a gap in the law. And thanks to the bipartisan supporters of this bill, we closed that gap. We wanted to make it easier for new mothers to rejoin the workforce, and we did. This is what happens when lawmakers listen to women. This is what happens when an organization of strong women gets to work fighting for a policy that would help women. We have a law on the books, and that is a testament to the good work that Wren does. I want to thank you all again for your support of this law, and I want to thank our governor for making sure that he signed it into law. I also want to thank other individuals and organizations who supported this effort, including Sarah Brockman from Better Balance, Dr. Don Bingham, South Carolina Birth Outcomes Initiative, Spartanburg Chapter, through the Mary Black Foundation, Sarah Covington Cobb, March of Dimes, Kristen Leonard, Columbia Lactation Care, LLC, Mark F. Aquiliano, Secretary of Communications and Public Affairs, South Carolina Catholic Alliance, 
Sarah Cohen, South Carolina Chamber of Commerce, as well as my colleagues in the House who sponsored the bill with me, Representatives Allison, Bernstein, Govan, Ridgeway, Clyburn, Brawley, McDaniel, Cogswell, Caskey, Norrell, and Weeks. And I want to give you a few little uh, points about why this bill is so important. It results in fewer days missed. Breastfeed babies have strengthened immune systems thanks to antibodies passed between mother and baby. This means fewer instances where moms have to take off of work to care for her sick child. Lower health care costs. Those healthier babies also mean lower health care spending, saving you money on company insurance plans. Lower turnover rates. Moms often face a difficult decision between returning to and continuing to work and achieving their breastfeeding goals. By providing a breastfeeding support program and accommodations, companies are able to increase their retention rate significantly. Higher employer productivity and employee loyalty. Employees appreciate and work hard for a company that reciprocates this. And positive public relations. As more and more companies implement policies that support women breastfeeding when they return to work, regardless of changing regulations and the political client, the expectation from employees will remain intact. I now give you Dr. Don Bingham. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Dawn Bingham, and I'm an OBGYN and have worked with Representative Henderson Myers in Spartanburg to increase breastfeeding friendly business practices. I'm also the mother of four children, and I recognize how important breastfeeding is. As a reproductive health expert and advocates for women's health, the OBGYNs in South Carolina support maternity care policies and practices like the South Carolina Lactation Support Act. This act requires that any employer regardless of size, permit employees reasonable opportunities to express breast milk in a private place. These policies help to support women to breastfeed as a public health priority because on a population level, breastfeeding confers medical, economic, and societal advantages, and each woman is uniquely qualified to make an informed decision surrounding their infant's feeding. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends exclusive breastfeeding for the first six of months of life or longer as mutually desired by both the mother and the baby. Breastfeeding is a valuable part of the health of the mother and baby and has important health benefits for both children and women. Businesses with breastfeeding friendly practices can have more positive public relations and company breastfeeding programs help employers to build goodwill within their community and take care of the people that work for them. I am truly grateful to Representative Henderson Myers and the legislature and our governor for moving this important issue forward. In recognizing this need, you have better enabled the women of South Carolina to achieve their goals for themselves, their families, and for their infants. Businesses and employers, as well as legislators, that encourage this important goal of breastfeeding are truly proactive and supportive of the families of South Carolina. And I thank you so much. Thank you. And now we will sign the bill. Yeah. 